Want to know what's in a mad watch collector's EDC? Let's get into it! Yes, and welcome to the Mad Watch Collector Show. Today is all about MWC's EDC. Yeah, I've had this asked to me a lot since this channel started, and it's not something you tend to see on UK channels, you know? More of a US thing. But listen, I know TGV's done it a few times, and I've thoroughly enjoyed watching the shows, so I thought it'd be fun to show you what I carry every day. <laughs> So the three things I always have on my person, like probably a lot of you guys, is a phone. In 2024, if you don't own a mobile phone, you're probably a nomad living off nuts and berries in the woods. And I truly respect that, because sometimes it's hard to not be attached to these things. Do so much with this phone, spend so much money on Amazon, and I'm not embarrassed to say, sometimes I set my mechanical watch to the time on this phone in the morning. That's if I haven't got a Casio to hand. The second thing is a bunch of keys to the car and the house and everything else. There's about four keys on here. I do not know what they are. I've even got a broken key that I haven't bothered to take off yet. That's the type of person I am. But the most important thing I carry on me at all times is a beautiful watch. And I feel a lot of pride every time I put this bad boy on. And it's at this point I want to tell you about the only brand that officially sponsors this channel, Zero West. A brand that gives you a story with a watch before you've even tried it on. With passion, great engineering, superb design, Zero West have built a fantastic brand of taking huge engineering feats in history into a timepiece that makes you feel special to own. The watch I have on is the DB80. The watch's dial is designed on the altimeter from a Lancaster bomber. And on the back of the watch, there's a piece of metal that is from an actual Lancaster bomber that took part in the Dan Buster raid. Anyway, I'm very proud that a channel like mine can be associated with Zero West. Take a look at their website in the description below and take a good look at watches made with proper passion. Okay, so that's what's on my person, but what I usually carry with me every day is a bag. This bad boy from Stubble and Co. I beat my bags about, chuck them in the car, chuck them on the floor. This bag is absolutely sensational. I got it for Christmas from the wife. The only way to get into this bag is from the side where the straps are. So when the bag's on you, you can't get into it, which stops thieves pickpocketing out of your pockets. The first zip on the outside is dedicated to a little something I got for Christmas as well, and it's called the Remarkable. Something I've been wanting for a long time. I use a hell of a lot of notebooks. And it's scary to think how many trees that I've had to chop down in order for me to jot down any old rubbish. Remarkable is like a notebook, but a digital one. So the screen that you write on feels like paper, and the pen that you use feels like a pen. You can delete stuff you've made. I'm properly entering into the modern world with this thing, and I'll be using it a lot more this year. Anyway, let's open up the main compartment in this Stubble & Co bag, and we'll go big to small, shall we? And first, it's my MacBook. That is housed in a lovely sleeve made by Society6. This was given to me by my brother. And here's my tatty old MacBook with a lovely little sticker made from Wind It On The Move. That's the company that made all these pictures behind me. Next up, notebooks, then yeah, Yes, even though I do have a Remarkable, I still want a couple of books to hand. One of my favourite little jotting books at the minute is my Grey Sports Almanac notebook. I've got another version of this with the actual results in them. That is quite pointless because the dates are only up to 2000 and I'm not going to win any bets unless I go back in time. The other notebook is my What The Wife Thinks, given to me by the wife for Christmas. There is a lot of spicy comments in here. I really need to just pull out these pages and put them in the bin because it could really get you down sometimes. You know, bad mouthing Seikos and Casios, or oh, oh, Casio. Can get you down if I look at this for too long. Um, could you just click that like button please? It really helps the channel. Thank you. Next up are my utility pouches. We'll go with the cable one to start with. This is from a company called Bellray and it's just an easy little pouch 
that you can carry all your cables and things in, your plugs, your AirPods, you know. I've got so many cables lying about and I hate them rattling around in your bag. The next pouch is one I got off Amazon, made by a company called Spanker. <laughs> I like to take my mind away from things and play a game or two. And at the minute I'm playing on my game watch, made by Nintendo. I got this for Christmas, I know, two or three years ago. It's got Mario 1, Mario 2 on it, and it also has the time. So just in case my phone breaks down, the watch stops, I've got another watch on this game watch. Anyway, great little thing to pass the time if you're on the train or if you're chatting to someone that's a bit boring. Also, I've got to have a few pens on board. I've got a beautiful silver Parker Jota. Love these things. They're just so easy to use, easy to carry. I've got a couple of fancy ones. I've got a bullet space pen from Fisher, handy travel size one, and a cool one from Stillform. And this is very cool the way you open it and shut it. Open up the case, and this is where you see the true watch nerd. So yeah, I've got some NATO straps. These are some of my favorite ones. Just in case I want to change, this watch does have a 20 mil lug width, so I could change it to one of these straps. All NATO styles, a CWC leather one, a vertex grey stripy one and an Artem Bond style strap and I've got a very handy Bergeon 6767. The other thing I have in here that I don't use a lot now is my wallet. Do you remember wallets? We're in an age nowadays that you can pay using your phone and wallets you just don't use anymore. This is a very old one. It's from a company called Secred and it's one of those cool ones where you go whoop and your cards come up, you take your card out you push it back in, in, out, in, out, you shake it all about. But these pouches are quite cool, really well made, and they hold a lot of my stuff in. The last pouch I have is really cool as well. It's from the brand RZE. I reviewed one of their watches, the Endeavour, a few months ago, and it came in this really handy pouch. You can buy their accessories separately, so go check it out. But inside here, I have a Walkman. Yeah! From a new startup company called We Are Rewind. You charge this via USB-C, analog tape cassettes. Do you remember these? Now recently I found all my demo cassette tapes way back in the day when I was doing a lot of demos for the band. So sometimes I like to reminisce back in those days where I didn't have a mortgage and also a time when I didn't have kids, you know? Ah, oh, when you can do whatever you wanted, whenever you wanted. <sighs> Obviously, I wouldn't change anything to the way my life has turned out, but it's nice to reminisce. So that is pretty much everything that I've got in my bag. Oh, apart from, I can see... <laughs> A couple of Casio stunners. I've got the A159 and the A168 here. I don't know why they're in the back. It may be something to do with my daughter playing a little trick on me, but a happy one. These make me smile. <laughs> So there we go, that's my EDC for 2024. Obviously in the UK, I don't carry a knife with me because I think that's pretty illegal. Obviously it is annoying when you're trying to open a box, but you know what? That's what nails are for. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I really do appreciate it. Click there if you want a bit more of the Mad Watch Collector. Want some merch? Who doesn't? Click in the description below. But if I've got you for a few more minutes, why don't you click this beauty? This is sensational. One of my favorite watches of last year, that's for sure. Go on, click it. Click, click it!